Have you ever looked at a flight path map and wondered, why don't planes fly straight across the Pacific Ocean? It's a question that has puzzled many travelers and aviation enthusiasts alike. At first glance, it seems like the most logical route would be a straight line from one point to another. After all, isn't the shortest distance between two points a straight line? It seems counterintuitive. On a flat map, a straight line appears to be the shortest distance. But maps can be deceiving. The Mercator projection, which is commonly used for world maps, distorts the size and shape of land masses, especially as you move away from the equator. This distortion can make straight line routes appear shorter than they actually are. However, the Earth isn't flat. This simple fact changes everything about how we navigate our planet, especially when it comes to air travel. The Earth is a three-dimensional sphere, and the shortest path between two points on a sphere is not a straight line, but a curve known as a great circle route. These routes take into account the curvature of the Earth and are the most efficient way to travel long distances. This seemingly roundabout way of getting from point A to point B across the Pacific is not arbitrary. Great circle routes often appear curved when plotted on a flat map, but they are actually the shortest and most efficient paths. By following these routes, airlines can save time and fuel, which are critical factors in the highly competitive aviation industry. Airlines aren't trying to be mysterious or add extra time to your journey. In fact, they are constantly looking for ways to optimize their flight paths. This involves complex calculations and considerations, including wind patterns, air traffic control regulations, and even geopolitical factors. The goal is always to find the safest, most efficient route possible. In fact, they are very calculated in their flight paths, prioritizing efficiency and safety above all else. Pilots and flight planners use advanced navigation systems and real-time data to make informed decisions about the best routes to take. This ensures that passengers reach their destinations as quickly and safely as possible, even if it means taking a seemingly longer path. So the next time you look at a flight path map and wonder why planes don't fly straight across the Pacific, remember that there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. The Earth is a sphere. This might seem like an obvious statement, but it's a fundamental truth that has shaped our understanding of the world and how we navigate it. From ancient explorers to modern-day scientists, the spherical nature of our planet has been a key factor in the development of navigation, travel, and even our understanding of the universe. This basic fact from elementary school has a profound impact on long-distance travel. When we learn about the Earth being round, we also learn about the concept of latitude and longitude, which are essential for navigation. These imaginary lines help us pinpoint locations on the globe and are crucial for everything from sailing ships to flying airplanes. Straight lines on a flat map translate into curved paths on a globe. This is because the Earth is not a flat surface, but a three-dimensional object. When we try to represent the Earth's surface on a flat map, we have to distort it in some way, which is why maps often show curved lines for what would be straight paths on a globe. These curved paths are called great circle routes. A great circle is any circle that divides the globe into two equal halves, and the shortest path between two points on the surface of a sphere lies along one of these circles. This concept is used extensively in navigation, especially in aviation and maritime travel. A great circle route is the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. This is why pilots and ship captains use these routes to save time and fuel. By following the curvature of the Earth, they can travel more efficiently and reach their destinations faster. When planes fly these routes, they are essentially taking a shortcut by following the Earth's curvature. This not only makes the journey quicker but also more economical, as it reduces the amount of fuel needed for the trip. This is why understanding the spherical nature of the Earth is so important for modern travel. This might seem longer on a flat map, but in reality, it saves both time and fuel. The next time you look at a flight path on a map, remember that the curved line you see is actually the shortest route between two points on our spherical Earth. This simple yet profound fact has revolutionized the way we travel and explore our world. Fuel is one of the biggest expenses for airlines. Every mile counts when you're talking about thousands of gallons of jet fuel. Longer flights require more fuel which increases costs. Flying a great circle route, even if it seems less direct, actually reduces the distance traveled and consequently, the amount of fuel burned. This efficiency saves airlines money and reduces their carbon footprint.
Imagine an emergency situation happening mid-flight over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. The nearest suitable airport could be thousands of miles away. This is a nightmare scenario for any pilot. Airlines plan their routes to minimize the distance to a potential diversion airport in case of an emergency. Flying over land, or closer to it, provides more options for emergency landings. The Pacific Ocean is notorious for unpredictable and often severe weather conditions. From powerful storms to clear air turbulence, flying over the Pacific presents unique challenges. Airlines carefully monitor weather patterns and try to avoid flying through dangerous conditions. However, sometimes these conditions are unavoidable. Flying closer to land provides more opportunities to alter course and avoid the worst of the weather. Section 62 Engines Big Ocean ETOPS explained. ETOPS stands for Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards. This regulation dictates how far a twin engine aircraft can fly from the nearest suitable airport. These rules are in place to ensure safety in case of an engine failure. Crossing the Pacific often requires planes to be ETOPS certified, allowing them to fly farther from land. However, even with this certification, airlines still prefer routes that offer more options for diversion airports. Section 7. Riding the Wind. The Jetstream Express. High above the Earth, powerful winds called jet streams circle the globe. These winds can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. Pilots can take advantage of these jet streams to reduce flight time and save fuel. The location and strength of jet streams vary depending on the time of year and weather patterns. Airlines carefully analyze these factors when planning their flight paths to maximize efficiency and minimize turbulence. Section 8. Putting it all together. A balancing act. Determining the most efficient flight path is a complex calculation. Airlines consider a multitude of factors including distance, fuel costs, weather patterns, ETOPS regulations, and the location of jet streams. The goal is to find the optimal balance between speed, safety, and cost effectiveness. Sometimes this means taking a seemingly roundabout route. However, rest assured, there is a method to the apparent madness of flight paths. Section 9. So, straight lines or scenic routes. The next time you glance at a flight path map and see planes seemingly taking the scenic route, remember that it's not about aesthetics. These routes are meticulously planned, taking into account a myriad of factors that ensure safety, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. It's about a fascinating interplay of geography, physics, and aeronautical engineering. The Earth is not flat, and neither are the principles that govern flight. The curvature of the Earth means that what appears to be a longer route on a flat map is often the shortest path in three-dimensional space. This is known as a great circle route. Airlines are constantly striving to optimize their routes and while flying in a straight line might seem ideal, the reality is far more nuanced. Factors such as wind patterns, air traffic control regulations, and even geopolitical considerations play a significant role in determining the most efficient path. For instance, flying with the jet stream can save fuel and time, while avoiding restricted airspace can be crucial for safety. The curved paths across the Pacific are a testament to the ingenuity of humans as we navigate our spherical planet and the skies above. These routes are not just about getting from point A to point B, they are about doing so in the most efficient, safe, and economical manner possible. The next time you board a flight and see the route map, take a moment to appreciate the complex calculations and considerations that go into charting that path. It's a marvel of modern science and engineering, a blend of art and precision that keeps the world connected. Pilots and flight planners work tirelessly behind the scenes, using advanced technology and real-time data to make adjustments as needed. Weather conditions can change rapidly, and having the flexibility to alter the route can make a significant difference in the flight's outcome. This dynamic decision-making process is a critical aspect of modern aviation. So, the next time you find yourself gazing out of the airplane window, remember that the path you're taking is the result of countless hours of planning and expertise. It's a journey through the skies that balances the wonders of nature with the advancements of human ingenuity. Whether it's a straight line or a scenic route, Every flight is a testament to the incredible complexity and beauty of air travel.